What's going on, everybody? So, the question is, can you cloud chase on an RSST? You can. Do you want to? Would you rather do it on a dripper? Something? I like tank styles. I like tank styles. Got my juice right there. I don't have to bring extra juice. Here's my juice. Okay. Can you cloud chase on an RSST? Got a microcoil in here right now. I don't know if you want to really call it a microcoil. Yeah, I made the coil. It's squished down. It glows from the inside out. But, what is that? A 3 mil wick hole? So you got a 3 mil inside diameter wick hole. Or coil. Is that really a microcoil? You be the judge of that. Now, that's putting out pretty good, 50-50 eh? juice like usual. It's not bad. It's not that cloud chasing. <sighs> but I built some funky coils in here, and uh, this is working pretty good. What do you think? Is that cloud chasing material? I don't know. I don't think it's quite as thick as some of the other folks I see out there. It's not bad though. Saw a little tutorial this morning. Dragon's breath. I was talking about uh, different ways to exhale. A little rainbow in there. I don't know if the camera picked that up or not. Uh, glass stuff in the window. Just a little vape here. I'll do a little vape. Cloud chasing. I don't know if that's cloud chasing or not. It's uh, actually perfect for what I like. I'm actually surprised it's let me take that many drags um, without having to tip it up. I switched out the uh, cotton in here this morning, put a piece of uh, two mil eco wool and a piece of uh, one mil eco wool, and the two mils running all the way down in the tank, and the one mil is just in the coil, doubled up, and right at the very top of the uh, wick hole. It's not really going down in the wick hole. I'll show it to you in a minute. Do some more vaping. Let's vape. Everybody, let's vape. Everybody want to vape, right? But I had an 8 wrap microcoil in here at one point, and I decided that that was too much. Too many wraps. Wanted to light up a little faster. So I just backed out two turns, and uh, I think it's a six wrap in here now. Oh, a little crackling on that one. Maybe we're finally drying out a little. I have to tip it up. Yeah, look at how many pulls that was. It's 
not bad, right? I'll do a little chasing. I'll do a little chasing. I ain't gonna run. I'm lazy. Get it, chasing. Anyhow. So, mind the shine there. I've got uh, the wicks spread out so they uh, don't touch my air hole on there. Yeah, I left them nice and high. That way, when it does wick juice up, you know, if I put it on its side or whatever, like that, it does wick the juice into the wicks. It'll actually carry that juice a little farther. And uh, when you tip it up back the right way, well, these wicks are still wet at the top, and gravity just pulls it right back down onto that coil. I don't know if that's going to come up. Micro coil. It's not bad, right? So, I'll just tip her up for a little bit here. See, and notice, there is no plug in that hole. And yeah, my tank is full. Don't come out of that hole. Kind of nice. I don't know why. Probably have something to do with the uh, force of the liquid coming out and the air trying to go in. But, uh, yeah. My wicks are uh, looking good and juicy now. They're still not dripping or nothing. But they're pretty juicy. So, that's all it takes. I about... 10 seconds or so, line back up the uh, air hole, take a tube. Got 10 seconds, don't you? Watching TV, you just kind of sit like this for a minute. You like the chain bait, you just sit here, watch the commercial. I wonder if I got enough juice. Oh, whatever. I want to vape again. Let's vape some more. Comment all you like about me looking at the camera and vaping. But, uh... I want to see it, too. Well, I want to stare off all the time. Not bad, right? You can't even see how far off that's going. It's already hitting the ground over here and coming back up by me. Rainbow. I see it really good on this side. I don't know if you guys see it really good on that side. How long will you sit here and actually watch me make cloud upon cloud? I don't know, but let's make some more. It's dry now. If it dries out, you just hang it in the air for a few minutes. I suppose you could just, you know, do that if it would sit on that drip tip. Oh, look, it sits on the drip tip. I know if it would or not. You don't want to do that for a giant length of time, though, because, yeah, all your juice will eventually drain right out of your tank and onto whatever surface you just put that on. You know, even though the wicks when it goes slowly, it'll still do it. Tip back up. I like sitting back like this. Makes my gut look even bigger. It is actually pretty flat. But there it is. Whatever. Get it way out there. I don't know. I'm only about two feet away from the camera right now. So 
Take that however you may want it there. So happy because the uh, wife found my fuse. Ever seen a fuse for one of these? In case something goes wrong, to pop the fuse instead of popping you in the battery. That's all it is. Magnetic. Pull my battery out. Just sticks on there. It's kind of nice. Slide everything back together. Whoa, screw it back down. One thing I gotta say on this H100 that spring at the bottom is fairly tight. And I do tighten it down so I have a short throw. I really like the long throw. Just constant. Now, I see the appeal, and at the same time, I don't see the appeal. You have a dripper. Yeah, you take three, four pulls. Pop top off. Drip your juice back in there. And uh, put the cap back on. What did that take you? Six, six, ten seconds. Do all that. Plus, you know, you got to fumble with your bottle. Yeah, so about ten seconds. Well, ooh, rainbow. Ooh. So, I'm doing the same thing without dripping. There's my juice. The same time it takes you. Let's see here. All right, bottles on the floor, table, whatever. Oh, I'm dry. Okay. Would you rather see if it'll stand? Got to stand. It's not on camera. Hold on. There we go. See your camera. And then you take this isn't one. We take it and pretend and we take the top off. I don't know whether it's a screw top or if it's a pop top. Okay, we pop the top off, we grab our bottle of juice, and we squirt some juice up into there, and then we take it out. I don't really want to drop nothing in here. We take it out and we juice it up. And we make sure it's juice. Oh, we might need some more. So we put some more in there. Okay. And we'll put that back down. That's all nice and juicy. Oh, yeah, we check it out. Oh, it's good. All right. And let's vape again. Okay. Well, I just did the same thing right there without doing all that. I'm just saying. Flavorful and good. I don't know, my cotton wasn't wicking as well as I wanted it to. And I just decided, hey, I got all this stupid eco wool laying around. I'm going to try that again for the heck of it. Um, instead of uh, getting a dry hit every once in a while and uh, having that burnt cotton taste. Because that's lovely. Um, Almost like a lightsaber. Look at that. How long are you going to watch this for? I don't know. It's a test of how long you're going to watch that for. That's pretty cool right there. If I could just bait right there, that'd be awesome, huh? Yeah, that could happen. We just go all day like that. I don't know. What's the mouth hit look like on that? Probably nothing. It's not bad. Better than a Pro Tank or something. Compare it to the iClear 30B with cotton in it. That was a long hit. more dense. Vape it up. Come on, everybody. Vape it. Vape it. I 
I always know when this dries a little bit, you start hearing the pop crack. And we just do that number again. Stretch. It's a little vaping. I don't know if it constitutes cloud chasing, but uh, there it is, you know. Puts out a decent amount. RSST. Love my RSST. Do whatever you want with the thing. You want to make it a auto dripper mode? You can go ahead. You don't put the wick all the way down. Just right over the hole if you want. And you can do that. And it juices up your wicks. You can uh, do what I just did. And uh, it's a tank. I like the tank. I don't have to carry juice. I'm not really using that much either. Look, you can't see that. But it's still full, I'm sitting here. Sitting here vaping. 16 and a half minutes so far. Are you still watching? Alright. I'm still videoing. Nothing fancy. It puts out a really decent amount of vapor. Ooh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So, show it to you again. See if we can see this. We'll spin it around. Microcoil. But like I said, it's a three mil wick hole for crying out loud. So, get that out of there. Um, so, yeah. There's an awful lot of. Uh, Wicking material, eco wool in there. And I just brought it way up. And once I put my top on, we'll orientate it the right way. Like that. Once I put my top on, I looked in there and went, oh, the wicks on top of that screw. Wow. That's not going to help me at all with airflow. So I just. Split it on the screw, you ain't gonna see that. Maybe you will, but you can see the screw. As long as you can see the screw, you got air. You can't see the screw, then your wicks are right in your mouthpiece hole because the mouthpiece does go down a little farther than the top cap and uh, it'll just block your airflow off. And probably just suck the juice right from the wick up into your mouth. What do you want to do that for? Ooh, it's a cool blue tank. So yeah, there it is. Yeah, we can go like this. Step back a few more feet. Well, I don't know what happened in the video there. It sure looks a lot thicker in person than it does on that video right there. What do you think? You done watching me vape? Oh, I'm pretty much done vaping. That's a lot of vaping. There's, you know, different ways to do it. yourself a little air hole. You go. Uh, 
little bit better. You go, All right, folks, that's about all I got for you. Nice cloud going on in here. So, that's it. This is the wick I pulled out before I put that one in. Ooh, no, no, there we go. Oh, yeah. Anywho, as always, you all have fun now, because I know I will. Thank <laughs> you.